Here we are in Issawira, known for the strong winds in summer. Our first stop here was at Dar Hafida and family. It's a Moroccan family of female who welcomed us with the Moroccan tea with pure argan oil and honey. After this delicious welcome, they took us to their workshop and showed us how they make the argan oil, the sister and the mother as well. Then we drove down to the port of Issawira. And here we had a seafood salad. I still have the taste in my mouth. We also had some fresh oysters and sea urchin with the same guy. This we call it Triton, okay? I'm going to prepare it as sashimi. Oh. Since we're here at the port where people do shopping of the fresh seafood, we walked around to check what kind of fish they have over here. You'll also see people who are enjoying having their lunch at the port itself. And now we started exploring the streets of Issawira while we are on the way to our next food stop. Then we stopped at another seafood market to buy some fresh sardine. In the streets of Issawira, we found a local restaurant where we took our sardines for them to cook it for us. The guys here were very excited to welcome us. And they did a very good job in grilling our sardine, which tasted phenomenal. We usually like to have it paired with a Moroccan salad. And we like to squeeze some lemon on top of it to give it an extra flavor. Eating with hands is how we enjoy the food in Morocco. After the sardines, we had this extra dish that you can see, which is a tagine made with shrimps and tomato sauce. With lemon also and pepper, this is delicious. To another hidden gem of seafood. This is fish burger, which was my first time to try it. It was definitely worth trying. They are inviting us for a fish feast. The last food stop was at Hussein's house and his family. And now we will see what surprise they had for us. After tea, we were offered a cake salad which was the first time to try and see. A big and crunchy seafood pastilla, homemade by the hands of Lala Khadija. Look at the textures of this pastilla. It's filled from inside with vermicelli, shrimps, and spices. After all this food, we had more tea again eventually. Therefore, we would like to say thank you very much Mr. Hussein and your family for such hospitality.